Yeah, growing up, my mom just wrote the tithe check, and I never knew how much it was or any of those things, but she did it, and I thought, okay, that's what you do. And that's not how Eric's family was. In our household, it was if we were at church on Sunday morning and you had a dollar in your pocket, you reached in and you put it in the offering plate. And that was, and so I felt like I understood what giving was, but not the concept of a tithe. And so up to that point, you know, if the church had a need or they said, can you donate money to this? And we had it, which was rare, we would, but um, we didn't really give. So we had to talk about it and we could not possibly give a tithe. So we negotiated and after quite a bit of negotiation, we came to a number that we both felt like, okay, we agree on this number. And that for us was, I think, the most important thing was to agree on whatever that amount was gonna be. And it was a big struggle for me at first because the, the concept didn't make sense to me. I was looking at the amount of debt that we were in and the amount of income that we had and didn't see how the two of those numbers could match up. And it was it, it took a lot of conversation, but I think at the end of it, that conversation helped us grow closer together as well. And so we ha also had to sort of at the same time make the decision that we were going to work more and ta not take those, continue to take those loans and stop going into debt so that we could dig out and give, which helped overcome some of that. And so after that point, we, um, every time we got a raise or we, you know, we were trying to pay down our debt. And so every time our income got bigger or it just felt right, we'd have a conversation, we'd renegotiate. And if we could, or if we agreed on it, we'd increase the amount that we were giving. Um, until now, when we finally paid everything off and we're debt free. Yay. <laughs> um, and so we can, we have agreed that we give a tithe and then when we need to or we want to, we can give more. It's kind of an awesome feeling to know that that 10% came off the top. And so by the time you get down to the bottom and you've got whatever that surplus is, you know that you've already taken care of that tithe and you've taken care of all of your other responsibilities and you, you get to give joyously. I don't want to make it sound like we gave and then God gave us all this money, but the ability to um, give that at the beginning of the month and know that we weren't going to be stressed at the end of the month to make ends meet was, was a cool test in trust for me. I mean, I just say pick a number, whatever is comfortable for you because it's not going to be comfortable at first. It's it's money. We're not comfortable talking about money. We're not comfortable giving money. None of us have enough money, right? But but if you can just pick anything and give it consistently off the top, don't worry about gross or net or any of those things. And if you're married, make sure your spouse agrees on the number. And every month or every week, same number, predictable, just give it and it will become easier and easier. And when it becomes so easy that you can do more, do more. <laughs>